say? How much did you say um, some of the um, the students are making now? That oh, she, she started at ninety two. Started at nineteen thousand, right? Before completing her DBA. Before completing After her. She's going to get one thirty. She's going to get one thirty, right? She has a clearance, right? Yeah. Working for HP. What did I say? What are my exact words to you guys? I told you guys. Do your projects, didn't I? Mm -hmm. They don't even do projects at the school that she went to. They don't even do projects, right? I don't think. Ninety-five percent sure they don't, because I have another student that came through here. Her name is Claudia, and she she told me that they didn't do any projects. But jobs are out there. How they do it, I don't know. But the most important thing is not only to get a job, but to keep the job. If you get the job, that's fine. You can you can BS your way through an interview. Right? You could be lucky, right? And you just find somebody that, okay, let's give it a shot. But you gotta keep the job. That's the whole point. You gotta keep it. And this class, I teach you not only how to get a job, but how to keep the job. Keep the job. That's what you wanna do, right? You have a clearance too, right? You have a secret. Oh, you have a top secret. Sheesh. Sheesh. I've actually been turning down jobs because I want to finish this class. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I want to do something different. I don't want to do what I was doing. Before. Okay, so you, you have jobs pointing you back to this, to this, um, to what, I was to what you was doing, right? System work. I want to do this. How much were you making before? 86. Oh. Which was really wrong. Oh. <laughs> you have a top secret clearance and you're making $86,000. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Alright? Like I keep trying to tell you guys, if you're not making. The only way you're gonna get my attention is if you're making like 150. Okay, you got my attention. Make 150. You got my attention, right? You make it 86. You're poor. You're poor. You're busted. You're busted. Get out. Get out of here, right? If you make it 90, get out of here, right? You're busted. I remember, I told you, I don't know if I shared the story, um, um, when I first started, I was doing security many years ago, right, earning 17 bucks an hour, so I went to this conference where there was this motivational guy or whatever, and um, so he was, he sat everybody down, it was like 100 people there, and he made this sly comment, I don't know if I made, if I was this, but he made a sly comment that no, I was making some and I'm thinking that, you know, I'm making some decent money or whatever. So he made this comment. Like, it was kind of like a joke. I think it was pretty funny at the time, right? <laughs> but uh, he made this comment. He said, all you people with your weak $20 an hour. I said, hold up. So, I'm making 17 You consider $20 an hour weak? What the hell is going on with me? That's what really started making me think about changing, changing things around. I said, okay, if he thinks 20 is weak, what's he going to think 17 is? Well, I'm here to tell you, that if you're making anything less, anything less than 150,000, it's weak. You're busted, right? There's no need for that, right? There's no need for that. A lot of you guys might think that you don't need the job, right? You, I have this guy. His name is, um, he's in the class. Not Neil. No, it is Neil. Neil. He's got no, he's got no, no student loan because they forgave his student loans. Like he's, I don't think he's single, barely got a, barely has any debt, right? Neil. And he's making like 30, how much is Neil making? Like 30 bucks an hour? You guys know Neil, right? You guys don't know Neil? I think there's a Neil, but it's a female. Oh, okay, Neil, he works with Alicia. You guys know Alicia Richardson, oh, okay. right? Okay, yeah. Well, Alicia. Yeah. So Neil, yeah. Yeah, Neil, Neil works, works with. with yeah. Yeah, it's a different so side. We made like 30. She needs more. She's okay, supervisor. <laughs> you make 35? 35. 35, right? I'm busted. You're busted. You're busted. So I was telling Neil, I was like, you're dangerous, man. And I was real serious with him. I said, you're dangerous. Simply because uh, you make just enough to think that you're making something because you have no debt. So I told him, hey, brother, hey, brother, I got I to really watch you like throughout the duration of the course because he's, 
he could probably get a little too comfortable. Mm -hmm. Just a little too comfortable, right? So, you want to make six figures, you are in the right class. Okay. Project one is over. Now we move to project two. All right. So now everybody pay attention. Pay attention. Very good. Everybody, start up the engines. Start up the engines. Open up a terminal, please. Everybody, open up a terminal. What are we going to do today? Today, I'm going to, we're going to start from scratch. We're just going to start from scratch. All right? I'm going to teach you guys how to actually install the Oracle, uh, um, the Oracle software from scratch. From scratch. Cool? As if we don't have anything. We don't have any database. We don't have nothing. Right? So sometimes, in, um, sometimes while you're at work, what's going to happen is they're going to tell you, hey, buddy, we have a brand new server, right? And we need you to install the Oracle software. It's the easiest thing. And we also need you to create a database. It's the easiest thing in the world. Easiest thing in the world. I love my Saturdays. You know why? Why do I love my Saturdays? Who can tell me why I like my Saturdays? Huh? Okay, obviously, other than that, <laughs> why else do I like my Saturdays? Mr. Harold, why do I like my Saturdays? You're making money? Other than that, right? <laughs> other than that, why do I like Saturdays? You have I'm for the next day. Huh? What did you say? I'm off for a few days. I'm off for like two, three days after that. My little mini breaks, mini breaks. And guess where I'm going? Next week, right after class, mm -hmm. guess where I'm going? Rio. No. Close though. I'm going to Miami, baby. Miami. I'm going to drink the champagne, right? The caviar, huh? I'm going to be in the W Hotel. Woo! Right? Guess what? You know why I can do that? Huh? Because you're not. No. No. Because, because I do what? Because you did your project. Because I do what? You did your projects. You do your projects. Last minute. Last minute, I'm not going alone, by the way. Well, no, 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 we don't do that alone. You <laughs> got to go to Miami with, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Do your projects and you can do this. I'm dead serious, though. I'm, I'm dead serious. At one point in my life, I could not do this. I couldn't do it. So I've made it a point that now that I've done my projects, now I'm going to have some fun. I have a little bit of fun, right? But guys... Very shortly, in a very short while, you're going to be like this, right? This man has a woman that, that loves him. Mm -hmm. Loves him, right? You want to make, your, you make your, your woman proud, don't you? Mm -hmm. You want more time? You want to spend more time with her, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we don't see each other on this Sunday. You see? Wow. What kind of life is that? Mm -hmm. Not good, is it? This song that I was listening to the other day, <laughs> uh, I was listening to yesterday. Right? Um, they said they were speaking in, a, in a, they were singing in a, in a Nigerian language, right? But the, the point is, is uh, what they were saying is, they use money to get women, and with just anything in life, money is the key. Bottom line, but money. It's all about the money, huh? Believe me, you were busted, Mr. Root. She'll leave you. I'm going to just tell yeah. you how it is. You know, she would. Be broke. Uh, be broke. Be broke to see who, be broke who see who wants you. Or, or not just be, see, let me tell you something. Females, females don't care about you if you're broke necessarily. What they do care about is, where is this guy going? Ah, they want to see that. The two bad combinations. You're broke and you're going to, ah. Uh, I don't care that you're broke. It's just, if you're broke, if you have no money, if you had a job that doesn't pay that much, that's fine. But you're in this class, you're going somewhere. Mm. So if you stick with me and you don't quit, don't quit. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Mr. Root, how much is she making? 92? Wait, how much is she? No, no, not your wife. No, oh, the sorry. female. Yeah, 92, 92 or 93. 92 or 93, right? Something like that. Okay. 
Not the smartest girl in the world, is she? No. I can't wait for you guys to get jobs. I can't wait. Because it's going to change your lives. Mr. Harold? Yes, sir. Donald, you, you, within the next year and a half, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't be doing some serious damage. With the experience we have as a developer, serious damage. Serious damage. Right? But the baseline is horrible. Make no mistake. Both of you, just have faith. Stay, you guys, stay, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stick with me. I'll take you there. Do you have a job reference? <laughs> Absolutely. If you do your projects, okay. put my name to it. Right. If you do your project, okay, yeah, I'll vouch for one. Don't do your project, I can't vouch for you. I can't just, just think of it as a rite of passage. Eventually, you will get a job. I can't guarantee that it's going to be as quickly as I got it. First, 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 everything. I'll share the story, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Right? But you will. You will get it. Especially those of you who have clearances. Oh. How long did she take before she got a job? Did she say? Well, as soon as she got done the sequel and took the test, they put her resume off. The guy at work helped her, and then she got a job with the next week. <laughs> put her on clearance jobs. Somebody's going to contact you. Clearance jobs? Mm -hmm. oh, everybody that has, a, that has a clearance in your job, send them here. Get them the hell out of there. Yeah, they, it's being hard. Some of them will come, some of them won't. So, okay. They're probably waiting for you all success. Exactly. exactly. We'll fix that. Perhaps I need to set up something, maybe like a, like a meet and greet or something. That's actually not a bad idea. I'll do that. Probably like a meet and greet. All I can give you all the emails. And the yes. Time. Probably like a meet and greet. Mm -hmm. uh, they got to be here. Got to. They just don't know. They just don't know. Why would anybody want to be standing there like for 12 hours? Believe me, I did it. It sucks. God, that sucks. And then you guys are, what kind of shoes are? Core frames. Core frames? You guys know what core frames are? Core frames are the sh those shiny you know, you see military dress shoes. Yeah. Shiny dress shoes. You're not supposed to wear them more than what? three hours. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, wait, wait. The core frames. <laughs> yeah. It's the thin, um, the thin soles. Yes. You you gotta hard. Yes. You got to put in your own inserts. Um, and being Marines, you know, they jacked up our bodies already. So I have to get specially made inserts. I know that personally for myself, so. That's too short for all this. Yes. That's too short. All right. All right, guys. Let's rock and roll. Okay. So at work, they're going to tell you, okay, we need to install a brand new, we, we need to do it, a brand new Oracle installation, right? We have a brand new server, right? And we need to install Oracle. And we need to create a database. Now, what's going to happen is this. The first question, you guys, now watch this. Put in the operating system is not your problem. That's not your business. That's not, got nothing to do with you. That is the job of the Linux admin, Okay. Now, after the operating system is installed, right, now it's time for you to put in the Oracle software and then to create the database, which is what we're going to do right now, right? And the other class is, they've already done this. Now, we're going to do this as well, all right? Very well. Okay, so now, when they tell you at work, we have a brand new server fresh, absolutely fresh. Now, we need you to install the Oracle software. The first question you're going to ask is, okay, what version of Oracle software do you want? That's the first question. Write it down, please. 